Hi everybody, I'm Jessica Riggin from the OSU Extension Service in Lincoln County and today we're making soup. My family has a tradition of having soup for dinner after we go trick-or-treating on Halloween every year and this year my daughter has requested my homemade chicken noodle soup and so that's what I'm showing you today. I've got a little bit of olive oil in my pot here and I've turned my heat on to medium high and I've got some chicken thighs, boneless skinless chicken thighs. You can use whatever cut of chicken you want, but I definitely recommend boneless and skinless. And I've seasoned it with salt and pepper, a salt and pepper herb blend. And I'm just gonna brown it, kind of sear it in the pot. Um, we're gonna put it in here and cook it for about three to four minutes on each side. My chicken has a nice brown crust on it, but it is definitely still pink in the middle. I can see that it's still pink, that's okay. We're gonna cook it a little longer. Um, we're not done with it yet. So once I've got all my chicken out of the pan, I'm gonna add in my vegetables. And what I've got here is just some diced onion, celery, and carrot. I've got a little heavy on the carrot because I like carrot the best. I'm gonna put all of that in there. And I'm gonna season it with the same salt and pepper and herb blend that I seasoned my chicken with. I'm just going to kind of give it a little toss, just using the same tongs. Now normally, I would not put cooked chicken back on the same plate where I had my raw chicken because I don't want to cross-contaminate. But again, we're going to put this chicken back in the pot so it's going to keep cooking so it's okay. My onions are starting to get a little color on them and turn translucent. And so I am going to add to my pot four cups of chicken broth. And two cubes of chicken bouillon. And some fresh thyme. I just throw the whole sprig in there. And after it's cooked for a while, I'll fish out the stems because we don't want uh, to eat those stems. And then I'm also going to add my chicken right back in here. I'm going to add it back in and the whole pieces. And all the juices with it. I'm going to try to push my chicken down under the broth. And then we'll let that simmer for about 30 minutes. Now on Halloween night... Once I get it to this point and I've let it simmer for a little bit, I'm going to transfer it to my slow cooker to hold warm. If there's somebody that's going to be staying in your house who's old enough and responsible enough to keep an eye on this, then you could leave the pot on the stove, turned on low, and let it simmer that way. Alright, my soup has been simmering for about 30 minutes and I am going to fish out those pieces of chicken with my clean tongs so that I can cut them into bite-sized pieces. I'm just gonna put them on my cutting board here. And with my Big chef's knife, I'm just going to take the palm of my hand and put it on the blunt side of the knife because this chicken is hot. I don't really want to have to hold it down with my fingers. And I'm just going to take my knife and rock it back and forth like this to get the chicken cut. It dices so easy using this method. And I can just kind of go across all of it here. I'm just going to slide the chicken right back into the pot. And then... I'm gonna add in six ounces of egg white noodles. So these are the egg noodles made without yolks. They come, I bought a 12 ounce package and I'm using about half of my 12 ounce package here. I'm just gonna put it in there. And as my soup has been simmering for 30 minutes, a lot of liquid has been lost. But remember I added those two bouillon cubes at the beginning and now I'm gonna add in two cups of water. Um, so that I have enough liquid in there to actually cook my noodles. And after about five minutes in the pot, my noodles are cooked. I have already fished out the stems from my fresh thyme, and this soup is done. 
If you're making it all at once and going to eat it right away from start to finish, you can have this soup on the table in about 30 minutes or you can hold it warm and have it after you've gone trick-or-treating, prep it ahead of time, just leaving the noodles out and letting the noodles cook last. Your family is going to love this soup. Mine does. Happy Halloween!